My name is Sarah Tapscott, and I am the Director of Statewide Partnerships with Forefront. I have been with Forefront for a little over five and a half years. Um, I am in our Springfield office, and I manage the work for nonprofit capacity building throughout Central Illinois and Southern Illinois um, and, and beyond. I work very closely with the United Ways and the Community Foundation um, Network that is so critical and have been so um, important part of the process for these allocations of um, the statewide response fund um, as the director of statewide partnerships and because of my close relationships and, and knowledge um, for the nonprofit sector around the state I was asked to sit on this statewide COVID response fund in the capacity of um, a uh, grant making committee member. There are about 15 or so of us um, from, from throughout the state, um, some from local United Ways community foundations, from statewide organizations, um, from Chicago all the way down to uh, Southern Illinois. And again, we bring diverse uh, perspectives based on our knowledge um, of where we are throughout the state, the, the work that we've done for our, our organizations, and we are able to make informed um, grant making decisions um, very quickly and then recommend those funding opportunities to the steering committee who ultimately then um, provides the go ahead to allocate those funds. The Illinois COVID-19 Response Fund um, was a fund that was established very quickly here in Illinois to deploy those much needed resources um, to our state's most vulnerable residents and nonprofit organizations. Um, it was set up very quickly um, and working in tandem with other funds set up around the state, ensuring that the resources go to where they are needed most. So this uh, COVID response fund was formed um, by a partnership with the United Way of Illinois and the Alliance of Community Foundations um, in collaboration with the um, Office of the Governor. And it was there to establish this, this fund to raise um, much needed resources from individuals, um, corporate and foundation um, donors to dispersed to the nonprofits and organizations across the state, serving individuals and families, um, and also our communities. Uh, the fund uh, quickly raised over $27 million within the first week or so, um, which was just extremely, um, just, just crazy. Um, and for the first time in Illinois, the philanthropy really pulling together uh, to support that large amount of funding um, for the nonprofits across the state, um, and especially into the central and southern Illinois um, regions. So it's, it's extremely important as we look to resources um, or the lack of resources across the state to support the vulnerable populations. Um, immediately, you saw in the Chicago area, the Community Trust and the United Way of Metropolitan Ch Chicago pulling together um, a response fund to, to support the nonprofits there um, in the city and also in the surrounding Collar counties. And um, I think the governor quickly saw a need um, to do the same thing and that's why they set up the statewide fund, um, the statewide level. The fund was set up to go to some of those most basic needs, um, those safety net services originally with the first few rounds of, of funding. Um, those packets or those buckets of funding are emergency food and basic needs, um, utility and financial assistance for rent, childcare needs, uh, shelter and interim housing, primary health care services, um, as well as homebound individuals. The process for getting these response funds out, as I mentioned, throughout the state um, was set up to do it very quickly. Uh, the first round of funding that went out was around $5.5 million, and that went primarily to community foundations um, and United Ways located throughout Illinois. Um, these dollars were actually um, granted to those institutions as re-granting dollars, um, so that way they could get it into the hands of their local nonprofits and their local grantees. 
um, the first rounds of grants uh, ranged from 25,000 to 250,000. And we are so blessed here in Illinois to have such a strong network of community foundations and United Ways throughout the state. Um, especially in those communities that I mentioned, um, especially in Southern Illinois, who don't have other foundations within the area. So the Community Foundation and or the United Way um, are the two primary funders. They are also trusted leaders, um, as well as informed grant makers, and they know exactly where those dollars should go. So that's why primarily that first round of funding went to those types of institutions, those types of organizations. Um, in addition to the community foundations and United Ways, we did disperse some funds to um, some other statewide organizations um, that have large networks that um, cover a majority of the state. And so those organizations um, were Feeding America, um, the Centers for Independent Living, Illinois Coalition Against Domestic uh, Violence, as well as the Illinois Network of Child Care Resource and Referral Agencies, for example. The next round of funding um, will be announced within the next few days, I believe so. And um, we should be allocating about another $5 million and some change. Um, the, the response fund, as far as uh, the governing body and, and who is making these, these decisions of where the funds are going, um, the, the fund is being chaired by former US Commerce Secretary Penny Pritzker. Um, and is governed by a steering committee. And then under that is a grant making working group. And the committee and the working group are both made up of diverse philanthropic um, social sector and corporate leaders from across the state. Um, Forefront CEO Eric Weinheimer sits on um, the steering committee and I am a member of the grant making working group as Forefront's director of statewide partnerships. So as I mentioned, we just um, allocated the first rounds of funding. And so we're getting some information back from those grantees and from those community foundations and United Ways who um, have regranted those dollars out. So um, a majority of that funding did go to the United Way and Community Foundations. Um, and they are showing that a majority of their funding went to cover those basic needs. So um, we've seen local food pantries, a lot of food pantries, food type organizations being funded with these dollars. Uh, youth serving organizations like the Urban League um, and the Boys and Girls Club, YMCAs, those who still have child care uh, for some of the frontline workers. These organizations are also um, not only taking care of children, but making sure that these children and families have, have food. Um, local domestic violence shelters, Catholic charities, as well as different senior centers. We've seen um, the, the senior population being very vulnerable to um, contracting the COVID um, disease or um, virus, but they're also very susceptible um, to uh, mental illness being secluded. So a lot of the funds have been going um, to support the seniors and getting food and making sure they're being transported to medical appointments. Um, some initial data is showing that obviously nutritional meals are, are top, um, top ranked as far as uh, where the funding went, um, rental assistance for families, um, and then also again that transportation to those who need it, um, not just seniors, but anyone who needs to go to medical appointments, um, as well as getting to um, their, daily, their daily jobs. Anyone who's interested in finding out um, where local funding pools are and how they can access those, um, please visit our website. We have a tab for the COVID-19 response that lists um, resources for um, local response funds. So if you're in the western part of the state, southern part of the state, there are local funds set up in addition to the statewide fund. So you can visit myforefront.org to find those resources. Um, and then to stay informed where the statewide funds are going and either how you can contribute to that fund or, or how you can uh, see who has the funds available, you can visit um, that website um, at ilcovidresponsefund.org.